Greetings. I'm composer Nolan Stoltz, and I'm on Route 66 in downtown Clinton, Oklahoma, getting some inspiration for my forthcoming orchestral work, the Route 66 Suite. Original 66 in 1926, came down 4th Street, turned here on Frisco, and went down to 10th. Behind this newer building right there was a hotel like four or five stories high. See, this is the pre-roadside motel era where early Route 66 travelers, aside from the ones that camped, would stay in hotels, and they usually be in a downtown district. So I'm gonna get that flavor tonight. Uh, this right there, that was the Ritz Theater, 1929, and as we'll soon see, there were several theaters in this small downtown district. Must have been quite a time. So to get the flavor of that early 66 travel, I got an Airbnb just a half a block off of Frisco, off of Route 66 here, right down 5th Street, in an old building, so that I could be staying in downtown Clinton at night to get that flavor for early 66 travel, rather than, you know, getting some hotel along the interstate or something. And, uh, yeah, it's right, right down there. I'll take you down there in a sec. And what's cool is that there were a few theaters, even just on this block, so there's like four in the area. At the corner here, this bank, that's a newer building, uh, that, uh, that, was, that was a theater. And then you can see the Redland down there. That was the Rialto Theater in 1926 when Route 66 came through. And then there's another one right over here. You'll see the uh, Pepsi Cola logo on it. That was the Hanley, Hanley Theater. I forget the name. Also in 1926. So many of these buildings is, existed in 1926. So this is a lot of good inspiration for the AD 1926 movement of the Route 66 suite. And of course the Neon Dreams as well as we'll take a closer look to the Redland. So I'll flip you around here. We'll get a better look. And I'll come back after sunset to get some pictures at night. But it's already pretty gorgeous looking. So this was the Rialto. And then I think it was 1957 when it became the Redland. I haven't been inside, but I have seen a photo where you can see the curtain and all that. Really cool. This is amazing. We're walking down the middle of Route 66, like no cars. Pretty amazing. Flip it around and head back east. Route 66 moved a block north to Gary. That way. So a lot of the more modern businesses and modern buildings are there. You don't quite get that early 66 feel. You get the more, you know, mid-century 66 feel. And that's cool too. But uh there's something, I don't know, not eerie, but just mystical. I don't have a good adjective, but there's something certainly special about being in these old downtown districts. I mean, look at that. 1910 building. Now, I will say, during the day, you'll see cars parked here and there's some traffic so it's not like it's totally dead or anything. You know, there's that old theater. Cool. Now I'm going to take you to my Airbnb, give you a little tour on the inside, head down 5th Street. Yeah, see that? building kind of sticks out is not the same or architectural aesthetic. 
Ooh, we got a, hear those birds? There's a kitty cat chasing them. It's pretty funny. All right, so even on Fifth Street here, we still get some older buildings. So uh, 1929 building there across from where my Airbnb is. Um, it's, it's also in an older building. I'm not sure of the year, but it's a, it's a newer structure like built inside an older building. You'll see what I mean. So I'll kind of turn around real quick so you can see. Not that, but this one here. We'll go through this gate. It's next door to a coffee shop, which I'll have to try out in the morning. Some coffee. Go through this gate, and uh, here we go. Flip it around. And a modern place within an old building. So, oh, this is great, I gotta show you this. Neon sign, how cool is that? If you listen carefully, you can hear the buzz. Love it. And the sleeping quarters, and this will be fun tonight. They've got a record player. So, one of my favorite, I didn't bring these records, they had these here. Sinatra of the Sands, classic. And I've got some Satchmo as well, but I'm gonna put that on. I haven't listened to this in its entirety in quite some time. Good stuff on there. So, give me some 66 feel with some nice modern accommodations within an old building. All right, I hope you enjoyed that little Travel Buddy bonus content in Clinton, Oklahoma. For more videos, check out patreon.com slash route66suite.